you so much for tuning in to Carly B TV. I'm Dr. Carlisha Booz. It's a new year and that means new beginnings. For some, they have made some new year resolutions. Some of those resolutions include dieting. And this morning we're joined with Tracy Gift. She's with the Piedmont Macon and she's here to talk about dieting, how important it is and some ways that you guys can stay on track and meet your goals. So thank you so much for joining us, Tracy. And thank you for having me. I'm excited. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Tracy, dieting, how important is it to maintain a healthy diet? Um, obviously, it's very essential to the way you feel, the way that you manage your day-to-day -day activities. Um, eating is the nutrition. So I, I like to think of it as nutrition for your body. And it's just very important to eat healthy so that you keep your sugars correct. You keep your blood pressure correct. You keep every part of your body that that requires good health that you just keep it healthier by eating correctly as, as the best that you can okay so you talked about basically maintaining a physical health does eating healthy um, and maintaining a diet uh, can impact mentally yes because it's going to keep your brain healthy like say for instance if someone eats a whole lot of sugar in their diet throughout the day it makes you sluggish it makes you not be able to think as well and you just don't feel as good so if a person can even just cut down on the amount of sugar each day that right there alone can make you feel better and when you feel better you're more active when you're more active you feel better so it all works hand in hand and then when you feel better you can handle your day-to-day -day stresses you can handle your day-to-day -day interactions you can have a more positive attitude and with everything that we're facing right now that's a, a huge thing and so eating healthy is the way to go that makes sense so for those who have you know made those new year resolutions um what do you recommend as far as a healthy diet something they can do on a daily basis okay well one thing is to take your mind and think of it as making a change forever and eating a nice breakfast, having a mid-morning snack, eating a nice lunch, having a mid-afternoon snack and eating a nice supper. That's a lot to do, but if you can just strive to do that, that will get you started. And when you think about healthy eating, that's what we're thinking about. You're, you are providing your body with health and what you put in your body is what you're gonna get. And that way, if you are eating um, moderate portions, baked, not fried, watch the salt, watch the sugar, you know, then that way that helps you. That's a good start for people who, instead of being so drastic, you know, just, just thinking of how can I do a healthy start? How can I feed my body with nutrition as opposed to like going on a diet? It would be something that you would want to do for the rest of your life so that you stay healthy. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So when we're talking about getting, you know, especially meal prepping, we know a lot of people go to meal mm -hmm. prepping when they're trying to maintain a healthy diet. Do you recommend a lot of more vegetables and less meats, more fruits? What do you recommend? Yes, I think, you know, like the government standard, if you look at um, the government on aging, if you look at any health and wellness facility anywhere, they are definitely going to say vegetables. Stay away from processed foods because processed foods are going to have extra fat, extra sugar, extra salt. Whereas if you strive for vegetables, minimal meat, then that way you're, you're going to just keep your body full of things that are good for you as opposed to the greasy, unhealthy things that do make you feel sluggish and don't make you feel well. Okay. Okay, so I know you mentioned earlier about the different times you said the breakfast, the snacks. Um, yeah, I lost count. I think you said like five times. So obviously you need to eat as many times per day. Is it like four or five times a day just to break down everything? Yes, to have smaller amounts and to keep your body. Like if you eat and focus on a little bit of protein for your snack, that helps keep a person's sugar levels good, which helps you feel better. Um, if you do moderate portions, that right there is the key. You know, down here in this part of Georgia, a lot of people love fried food. Right. A lot of, a lot of food. Um, and so really one of the best things that you can do for yourself is what I mentioned earlier, that moderate portions, baked, not fried. Watch the amount of salt. 
watch the amount of sugar and eat a variety of foods. And earlier when you were talking about all of those meals, um, you know, it's just the moderate portions that make the difference. If you eat a whole lot, six times a day, that won't work. Right. Okay. Okay. That helps. Okay. So let's talk about people with busy schedules that don't have time to, you know, prepare those meals on the go. I know I had a, a, a friend of mine who mentioned about the trail mix that she loves. Um, so what are some recommendations for on the go snacks? Okay. Well, if you keep a cooler in your car, a nice little cooler with one of those pre-frozen packs in there, you can have an apple, you can have a yogurt that's high in protein, low in sugar. You can have that snack she is talking about. There are wonderful websites As long as you check the website, there are wonderful websites that show all kinds of great snacks. But what she was talking about, that the snack, I'm sorry, Um, but, you know, any kind of a healthy fruit, any vegetables you want to throw in there, carrots, that kind of thing. um, Those are all good, healthy snacks, anything that's fresh. And you can keep a cooler in the car and therefore you can kind of keep it with you. I used to have to do that when I was working and going to school and getting children everywhere they had to get. You know, we just kept snacks and maybe a peanut butter sandwich in the cooler. That way we were ready to go. And um, anything like that is good. And then, of course, water. You need your water for nutrition, you know, hydration. Absolutely. That's so convenient. I never thought about that. That's how, that's very convenient. Okay. Okay. Well, that's it. Um, thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, and, and I hope that this help people stay on track to maintain a healthy weight, their diet, whatever they're doing, the new year should be a new year, new, new you, excuse me. <laughs> thank you so much, Tracy. Thank you so very much for having me. Are you a homeowner, a parent, or own a business? What happens to those assets in the case of death? Hi, I'm Cassandra Barron, your local life insurance agent. Life insurance protects your income in the case of death. Call me for your free quotes today. Affordable coverage for the whole family. Immediate coverage, no waiting period. Multiple kids coverage for one price. Call Cassandra Barron today. 